Let's take a look at this example. This time we have six bobs, okay? What we are going to do first? Write down what we're supposed to find. So I have find, okay, and I have to find R total, and I'm supposed to find P total so far, okay? Let's assume that the circuit is functioning correctly. So, so all those bulbs are exactly the same. They have the same resistance. So if you want to find, find R total, you can use the following formula, R over N. When in parallel circuit, all the resistances are the same. And you want to find the total resistance, simply divide resistance, one of the components, by the number of those exactly the same components. So if 1.5 kilo ohms divide by 6. Okay, because we have 6 of them. So I have 1.5 exponent 3 divided by 6 is equal to 250 ohms. So my total resistance okay, of the circuit when all those bulbs are fine, they are not burned, okay, is going to be equal to 250 ohms. Now, if it comes to the total power, I'm going to use uh, the formula which contains voltage and resistance because, because voltage is given and we found the total resistance. Okay, so P total is equal voltage 1, which is my voltage source, the second power, over R total. So this is equal 120 volts to the second power over R total, 250 ohms. Okay, so we have 120 square divided by 250 is equal 57.6 watts 57.6 watts okay so this is going to be the power which is going to be taken from the the voltage source in order to make this circuit functioning properly the problem says if one ball burns right what is the effect on the rest of the circuit? If the one bulb, anyone, is going to burn, okay, and because this is parallel circuit, okay, so let's say this one get burned, so this one is going to turn down, it's not going to, it's not going to, uh, you're not going to see any light, but the rest of them are going to work fine. So it means that that uh, this bulb is not going to affect a lot of the rest of the circuit. Okay, of course this is going to affect the total resistance and total power, but it's not going to affect you know the the street is not going to be in the dark. Okay, so rest of the lights are going to be on. So uh, let's check what will happen with the resistance. So if R total is equal R over N. But this time, I do not have six bulbs. Right now, I have just five. So we have 1.5 kilo ohms divided by five. This is equal 300 ohms. As you can see, when one of the bulbs is going to burn, the total resistance of the circuit is going to increase because I have less components connected in parallel in the circuit. Okay, so if it comes to the total power, P total is going to be equal V1 to the second power over R total, which is equal, let's put in the formula first, R total, so this is equal 
120 volts to the second power over 300 ohms. This is equal 120 square divided by 300. This is equal 48 watts. The burn bulb is going to affect the total resistance and is going to affect as well total power. Resistance is going to increase, the total power is going to decrease, so less bulbs is going to consume less power. And keep in mind that this burn bulb is not going to affect the, the other bulbs, so if, if the power is connected, so they are going to leap, this one is going to be just burn. Okay, burning one bulb is not going to shut down entire system down. So this is the advantage of the parallel circuit. Okay, so basically these are the solutions to my problem.